Let's go over a few knots used in the rope axis. We'll start off by tying a figure eight on a bite. You're gonna wanna take the running end of the rope and form a simple bite. You're gonna take the bite up and around the standing end and through the overhand loop we just made. You want to make sure that the ropes run parallel with each other so it's properly dressed. If the knot ends up looking crisscross like this, make sure you take the time and dress it properly. Also, you're going to want to make sure that there's three to five inches of tail after tying the knot. And that's the figure eight on the bite. Alpine butterfly. The next knot we will go over is an alpine butterfly knot. It's considered a middle of the line knot that once you tie, you can clip a load into the bite. You're gonna to wanna to start off by laying the rope in the palm of your hand, wrap and come around forming an X shape. And you're gonna to wanna to wrap a second time. And you're gonna to wanna to be adjacent to the first X towards your thumb. Maintain the shape of the X, pass a loop of rope underneath, and out. The final knot should look like this. The double fisherman's knot. This knot can be used to make a pressic loop or to tie two ropes together. You're gonna to wanna to start off by lying one rope over the other. You're gonna take the red rope and wrap it around the blue, forming an X. Pass the running end of the red rope through the bottom of the X. cinch it tight. Now you're going to want to do the same with the blue rope, but wrap the opposite direction as you did with the red. Still making that X. Pass the tail end through the X. Finish by cinching the knot down. You should see at least three inches of tail on each end. You should see X's on one side and flat wraps on the other. If you see flat wraps on both sides, it wasn't tied correctly. Okay, the final knot we're gonna go over is a double overhand knot. We would use that as a stopper knot that you would use at the end of your line. We'll tie a simple double overhand knot and tie it upon itself. You're gonna take the running end of the rope, form an overhand loop, and continue wrapping up and around again, forming an X. Take the running end of the rope and pass it through the X and cinch it tight. Now you have yourself a nice little stopper knot at the end of your line.